All right, so today we have a Porsche e-hybrid Panamera here. And uh, the customer complaint is the electric, the EV portion of the car stopped working. Uh, and what we did is we pulled some codes out of the car. One of the first codes that we pulled was a low, it said to replace the EV hybrid battery pack. We're not gonna just go jumping into doing that. It also said that the 14 volt battery was low. So, okay, so the first thing to do is check uh, the 14 volt battery, or we also call them 12 volt batteries. Um, the 12 volt battery on this car is an original battery. I checked the, the date stamp code on it uh, yesterday, and I think it was, it was produced in 2013. It's got a 4013 code on it. Um, so, and right now we're in 2019. So the car saw a low battery. It saw low voltage from the 14 volt battery system. This battery is completely separate from the high voltage EV battery side of it. It's a totally different battery. This battery is the battery that operates all the accessories on the car, uh, all the engine controls. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and replace it. It is an AGM battery. And you can see right here uh, on the negative post, they stamped the date in it. It's a 4013, so the 40th week of 2013, that one was made. We are gonna put in an MTX 94RH7 interstate battery. Uh, that is a glass mat battery, brand new. Our hopes with this one is to get rid of our 14 volt low voltage code, um, as well as we're gonna reset all the lights and see if we can't get the EV operation working again on this car. The car came in under gasoline power only. So we're trying to get the hybrid portion of this vehicle working again uh, with just a new 14 volt battery. It said replace the EV battery pack. We're not gonna do that just yet until we know that this battery is good. Uh, very important on these newer cars. So the vent on this, uh, the vent on this car is toward the back of the car. So the interstate comes with a vent that could be vented on this side or on this side. So what we've done is we've plugged this side. This side is open to our vent hose. So we're gonna put the vent hose on there. And then that vent hose is gonna go outside into the atmosphere. Anytime there's an internal, like an internal cabin battery in a car, you always wanna make sure that the battery is vented properly. So we're hooking up the vent, making sure that is venting to the atmosphere outside of the car. We'll hook up all the rest of the stuff and go for a code read and see what happens. Okay, so yesterday there was a code in this car for uh, to replace the hybrid battery pack. We erased those codes and we got the hybrid pack to start working. Uh, then today we installed the new 12 volt or 14 volt battery. But the drive that the customer did between yesterday and today, which was maybe only 15 miles, the check engine light came back on and it came back on saying to replace the hybrid EV battery pack, which is a PO. A80. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to clear this code now with a, a new 14 volt battery that we just installed and we're going to instruct him just to go drive it and hopefully this 14 volt battery that we just put in will the car will see good voltage back in the system and it will ignore the 220 volt battery code that we keep getting. So uh, if, if not then it may need a new 220 volt battery if this code keeps coming back. But we don't know that, so we're going to clear it and then uh, go from there and give it back to them and have them drive it. Have a happy Thanksgiving.